Outstanding. Folks, Saturday night, welcome to Murder Hobo Inc., the one-shot edition. Uh, the dog is ready. I hope you guys are, too. Uh, should be pretty fun. These guys are first level going into the city of Cacophony, or Cathaway, and for uh, longtime viewers, you know what that means. Uh, there's potential there. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit with us about D&D, &D, join our Discord. If you want to buy some really cool stuff like a phone case or a T-shirt, huh? nice T-shirt, classy T-shirt, uh, hit up our store. Don't forget, uh, as always, our sponsors, uh, Pirate Dog Dice. If you want custom dice like a Terran has, uh, oh, hit up oh, Pirate Dog Dice at Twitter. And if your game stinks, oh, there's a good view of the dice. Oddfishgames.com uh, for Adventure Sense. <coughs> also, if you want to write better than me, I hope, uh, check out their Shine system. Uh, folks, like I said, this is Cathaway, it is first level. Uh, we will get to that in just a moment. Let's introduce you to the cast that's going to entertain you. Eh, maybe. Uh, for the next two hours, we will start with Rob. Not to be confused with Dave. Not Rob, who are you? Now it's real confusing. Is it real confusing? I don't think it's real confusing. I'm it's Baz AL, so better known as Baz. Uh, I'm a tiefling warlock, about five foot two inches tall, impeccably dressed. Red skin, silver hair, black horns, ram like. Five two? 101 pounds, Midget. six and a half stone. Okay. Uh, you just knew you were going in the sewer and didn't want to make him six foot tall and give him Strengths my dump stat. Oh boy. Uh, Carol, you are up next. Who are you? Who are you playing? Oh, who I am. I'm Carol, as he said. <coughs> I'm a, as my usual, I'm a commissioned mini painter. Also, I'm a longtime gamer and an occasional GM. Uh, I'm on Between the Rolls. Uh, I'm in the Thursday campaign, which you all should be watching because it's awesome. We want to be keep better than the Saturday. You, you need Adventure Sense for that one because that campaign. Sucks. No, it is awesome. That <laughs> campaign. Like fish. It does probably smell like fish. I was about to say, it does now. <laughs> ah, we had a narrow escape, too, so it was really, really good. Uh, and then, um, what else? I do these one-shots. Uh, who am I playing tonight? I am playing a new-to-this-stream uh, rogue named Jory, who is a wood elf. All wood elf, not a freaking half-and-half half like Taryn is. You know, I think you have played him before. No, not this character. I, I wrote this up for like a complete, I don't think so. I wrote this you up. You know what? I, I think you have. I think you have. I'll have to check the name plates because I don't remember. Maybe, the, yeah, these maybe games right. suck. They all run together and I forget about them. So, I mean, you know, maybe okay. he's right. I just don't, maybe I just don't remember. Carol drinks a lot. David, you're up next. Who are you? Who are you playing? There's no alcohol in this ever. <laughs> okay. Meth. Just meth. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's Hi. Coke. Hi, I'm David. <laughs> I um, I'm a regular here on with the uh, Murder Hobos. I play in the Saturday campaign and Thursday night uh, cacophony show. That's every other Thursday, and uh, you can find me sometimes on Between the Rolls. And uh, yeah, every once in a while, one shot here tonight. I will be playing Willard, uh, Cathaway's sewage and water board technician. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All I can see is Fred Willard. I swear to God. Uh, last but certainly not least, joining us for the second time, foolish, right. foolish Ian. Who are you? Who are you playing? Uh, I'm Ian, and I'm going to be playing Fluzzum Clunt of Clunt and Sons Gong Farming and Night Soil Services. Uh, first level ranger, uh, a disheveled, uh, pretty horrendously odorous person wearing an Odoyug um hide set of armor um wow. flush out all of your problems uh vigorously so so um i guess ready for my first trip upstream the Kaleka. oh yeah go. right up there uh, that's where we're headed <laughs> folks these guys were told that it will be taking place in a cloaca aka a sewer uh but we're in Cathaway, so these guys uh, may throw me a curveball. Long story short, they have just gotten to the big city, huge city, monstrous city, 
an impressive city. And they're hanging out in the public venue uh, near the library and the bell tower. Uh, no Marty McFly jokes tonight, I don't think. Uh, they spied a well-dressed, rich-looking woman and her child who had a pet ferret. The pet ferret has leaped from the child's shoulder into a grate and into the sewer. Uh, since these guys are new and broke, the rich lady has said, 20 gold pieces if you guys go fish my son's pet out of there. Good news, it looked like it was just a regular ferret. Not a giant ferret, not a dire ferret. You know, that you know of. So, the <laughs> question to you as we start this mess uh, uh, well, you're all gentlemen, right? Jory's a male, isn't he? No. I thought you said I don't he. play. No, she. I don't play. I do. I cannot play males, so I don't. I play females exquisitely. Yes, uh, I know you're good at it. Okay, I'm the seduction. Uh, and you okay. don't. Wait, is Larry? Have we Larry a girl? No. All right, no. then you don't. His name is Larry. <laughs> he kills I children. Said, I said Larry. I think I said Larry. You did. Yeah, you said exclusively you play female, so that's hey, hey, bullshit. Hey, 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 <laughs> did you want to play tonight or you just want a bitch? <laughs> there you go. Uh, lady and gentlemen, you want to take the job or you want to say fuck that fair and wander the city? It's By the way, folks, mature uh, audience is only. I'll, I'll leap on like, that and uh, I will start to track this ferret. Uh, <laughs> if we're ever going to get into these underground crab fights, we've got to get an invitation. 20 gold's going to go a long way towards getting us. Yeah, but well, that's getting 20. you three cleaned up. Wait, wait, wait. I'm cleaned up. Wait, 20 a piece or 20 total? Your first level, it's 20 total. Oh my <laughs> god, that's like nothing. It's like five for you mathematically challenged. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. like five. Nothing, I got man. 24 on a roll to uh, start to track your ferret prints. Uh, first off, I'm going to need a strength roll if you want to lift that grate. <laughs> well, that's great. Uh, apparently, I'm better at looking than I am grabbing since that is a whopping five. Your rolls continue to astonish us. Uh, that is not going to be good enough, and you feel the twinges of a hernia creeping in, which may hamper your sewer and soil <laughs> expectation business. Anybody else want to try? By the way, uh, I'll, give him, I'll give him a try. Flusm, uh, you easily track it because you saw it jump into the grate. <laughs> great. Off to a great start. Nice. <laughs> it went... That right, way. Right, 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 right. I can, I, I, I can, I, you know what? I can help give Willard advantage. Although I'm pretty, yes. pretty reasonably beefy. Will, huh, Willard rolled an 18, so he put got you, it. Put your back right, into it. it there. Oh, I he's got, got a little technique. He spends his time down there, so he got well, it. Flossum, what you didn't notice was it's locked, so you have to kind of twist it a little bit and then lift it up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the grate is now moved over. People are looking at you, wondering what the hell's going on. Who wants to dive into the darkness first? Uh, I'm all about that. I will happily plunge in. After. Give me an I acrobatics. Um, I, 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 I plunk in with a seven. <laughs> <laughs> are you well, adding modifiers? <laughs> yes, uh, I, I am more wow. of athletics school of uh, plumbing services not I'm... time for our first d12 boys and girls because oh, no. No. did he hit liquid or did he hit a solid <laughs> Who, who's number one working for uh flutsome you have to roll a d12 against me oh, 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 this is how he makes oh, decisions uh, just liquid, uh, but you are soaked. Being an experienced sewer rat, uh, you're fine with that. You know, I'll just absorb dirty. the local odors, and that way I can just blend in better. <laughs> nice. Who wants to jump in second? I'll go. Uh, I I'll, actually, light, I'll light I, at my lantern while people are plopping, so at least we can get some better lightage. Sure. Lightage. Uh, I wonder if there's sewer gas here. That's why I've got a, a hooded lantern and I'm not just using raw dog torches. I've learned I'm, the hard way. I'm pulling out a silk line. Is there something nearby I can tie it off to? Um, you could tie it off on me. Uh, uh, no, I mean up uh, here where I am still. Okay. Uh, the rich lady. <laughs> Fire hydrant, gate post. You're My in the middle of the plaza. 
Jory. As I said, I was diving in and I have an acrobatics and I rolled an 18, so that's 26. Uh, you land and you do not land on Flotsam, which is good yeah. for you. Uh, Baz, you look around. Uh, there's a stout guard there. Uh, when I say stout, I mean fat. Uh, if you want to have... Uh, you there, good sir, guardsman. He uh, pulls forth his mutton away from his mouth, still spotting his beard. Uh, Oi. How would you like to earn a silver penny for five seconds work? What do I got to do? Hold this rope for five seconds while I lower myself. <laughs> Silver first. I give him the coin and the end of the rope. Uh, persuasion roll. Um, that's going to be a 22. He'll do it, but his hand is covered in mutton grease. Uh, and that's a three. Give me your acrobatics roll. You're going into the drink. Oh, that's a four. Uh, D12 against me. Please be sure. solid. Please be solid. Please be solid. Uh, nine. Damn it. Ah, oh, yes. Do it only. Uh, Willard, you're up. What do you want to do? Well, Willard, who looks like Crispin Glover, but has the Ed Norton hat on from the honeymooners, <laughs> reaches in his pocket, pulls out a, a, you know, a little friend, a rat by the name of Ben with like a glow on top of his head. And you of course, can see a little dome. Ben. And, uh, yeah, he says, Ben, we have some work to do. <clears throat> Hops into the sewer. Gleefully. <laughs> he or you? We both do. <laughs> Acrobatics check. Got it. Uh, Baz, good news. Uh, the rest of your rope's coming down. 20. Wonderful. 20. Uh, everybody is now in there, courtesy of Flotsam with his lantern. Uh, you can see four egresses. Uh, one of the main lines runs left to right. Uh, there are two left, righty, and another uh, straight ahead. Uh, so technically there are five ways to go. Uh, Flotsam, I will give you the benefit of the doubt. You know it didn't go directly left, right. Go ahead and give me a tracking roll. For your ring. Okay, you know it went straight ahead. Uh, it's about ankle to knee deep in here. There's a variety of smelly floaters. Uh, there's old pieces of old furniture. There are pieces of cloth. <laughs> uh, everybody roll a d20. Eight. Uh, Eight. Nine. Boop, 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 boop. Ten. <laughs> ten. Ten is the highest fucking roll. Wow. Really. We all suck. Uh, Willard, uh, you're the proud owner of a hand. It's a right hand. No, oh, it's not the first time I found one down here before. <laughs> I, ac I actually pick it up. No, it's a back scratcher. Uh, well, no, it's That's just a, a hand. Back. You need a, you need the arm for the back scratcher. Uh, Flotsam, you're leading this uh, brigade. You want to proceed forward or no? Yes, um, I'll, I'll uh, point out the uh, the ferret trail as best as I can, and I will uh, scuttle after its uh, its its track. Um, okay. I'll go ahead and uh, <clears throat> uh, can I listen to see if I hear any other types of sounds of creatures as if to draw my weapons in advance. I think that is an excellent idea. Go ahead and give me a perception check. Uh, no, does the sewer eight really? You don't hear shit. <laughs> Uh, the I, sewer. I would hope so. We're in a sewer. <laughs> the sewer. Well, you don't hear anything because everything's echoing, and of course, Boz falls in. Jokes are falling flat today. That's right. Oh, I got it. <laughs> uh, the sewer tunnels themselves, one by one, so could be dangerous. Um, uh, I'll, since it's not a sewer that I'm familiar with, I'll go ahead and I'll just I'll wield my uh, uh, weapons. I think are most appropriate job. So one weapon and one lantern. I'm, I'm a dual wielder, so. How are you holding the lantern? Carefully. Don't, don't say dong. Um, don't say dong, because that's not going to work at all. <laughs> um, uh, actually, that is a good point. Uh, since I'm in point, I should, the light should probably be behind me. Who would like to hold the lantern? I will uh, allow someone to hold my uh, lantern. Someone um, please silhouette the leader. <laughs> okay, fine. I will just. I, I have. have I got two one. weapons too. So. Okay, I will. I will. Willard will hold the lantern. I'll bring up the rear. 
So I got Baz in the back, Flotsam in the front, Jory or Willard, who is number two? Uh, <laughs> that's an interesting question in this place. Uh, I'll be number two. Jory is no, uh, big number two behind yeah. you. So Flotsam, the question is, do you want Willard in position number three to hold the lantern? Uh, that's a, I, I, I hear the sound of so much rope being given to me to hang myself. I will just go ahead and I'll carry my uh, <laughs> Warhammer in my right hand, Lancer in the left. It's a first tall weapon, so. Uh, you, from either side at irregular points, uh, there are holes uh, being fed from either the cobblestone streets above or perhaps private residences. Some of the construction is newer. Most of it is old brickwork. <clears throat> Willard and Flossum, uh, you are familiar with how sewers work. These are kind of rounded with a trench in the center. You can walk left or right. Uh, Flotsam, you will see ferret tracks running along the left, uh, occasionally looping up and over onto the bricks for no apparent reason in your mind. Uh, continue forward. Sounds like a good point. Um, I'll just you know, use the shine the light down the tunnel, see if there's any obstructions or uh, suspicious things down the, the corridor just to make sure I can let people behind me know. There uh, is an old chair covered in some kind of dirty fabric just ahead on the left. Coincidentally, uh, you notice that the ferret tracks have taken great care in avoiding this. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll point this out. Um, if it, and I'll recommend if anyone has any ranged weapons, point it at that, that chair. Uh, I don't like the smell of it. Mm. Keep, it keep in mind, one by one. <laughs> <laughs> I will I will put my, my what am I using? I'm using a dagger in the hand and hold with my rapier and I'm going to pull up. Good enough. Let's give me another can, uh, perception. That's right, sure, Paul. 18. Uh, you can hear the chirping of that stupid rodent uh, pretty far ahead as it echoes. Uh, the thing must have pretty good speed. You do not notice anything moving in or around the ghostly chair as you come up on it. Uh, do you want to proceed with caution or just say fuck it and kick it into the stream so that it empties out into the bay? <clears throat> By the way, the water the water moves behind you, in front of you. Um, well, I mean, we got to catch that ferret, so I will uh, gleefully kick that chair out of the way and uh, trudge forward. Hit it. Oh, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, so that is a 24. Uh, you do an awesome job of kicking it into the stream, and now it looks like a sailboat. Christopher Cross is singing behind it uh, <laughs> as it zips down the stream. Uh, with your hooded lantern, you can tell that you're about to come up to a junction area. <clears throat> uh, I guess tracking for ferret tracks. Uh, I roll a one, so um, point me in the wrong direction. Well, as you reach the junction, you notice uh, where the wet ferret tracks were. Fainter, 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 gone. So apparently... It has not neared the water, and you have started to lose track of it. Unfortunately, you are at the junction. Uh, I think <clears throat> a stream of water runs into this intersection. It has a fine coating of wood dust on the surface. Apparently, you're near the carpentry or furniture-making section. A small ponding has occurred where the four tunnels meet. A broken potion vial is present near the edge of the water in front of you, Flotsam. You can hear the ferret screeching, but with a one, you're fucked. <laughs> hey, we, we can hear the ferret. But it's echoing. We might be surrounded by ferrets. Can I, might have can been I, a fatal trap. Can I sure. try to make a perception check? Uh, behind him? Yeah, sure. I'll give it to number two. <laughs> perception. I do have. Well, I rolled a lot better than he did. That's an 18, that's another, wait, it's an, yeah, it's an 18 plus three is a 21. Uh, you're fairly sure it's either the left one or the right one, not the other two. However, 
Uh, everybody give me perception check as you all can enter this junction area. Mm. <clears throat> 14. Wow. 15. 18. All four of you notice the water ripples uh, becomes quite dirty and four figures begin to rise out of the steaming sewage. Uh, everybody arcana check to see if any of you know what this thing is. Okay. Three. Well, that's pretty good. 19. 17. Uh, I'm going to put my lantern down and I'm going to grab my other weapon. Uh, 11. Uh, Willard and Flotsam, no clue. Boz and Jory, uh, these look like mud men or some kind of elemental. Everybody roll initiative. Ah. Is the floor is dry underneath us? Uh, ish. Uh, there's, a, there's a ring in this junction area. The water flows in different directions. Well, I mean, like if I put, <laughs> like I, I remember, I switched my weapons out. So if I wanted mm -hmm. to drop my bow and draw my things, I'm not going to lose my bow, right? Correct. You can throw it next to the uh, lantern, that which is giving good. off all kinds of weird shadows. That's Initiative good rolls. Holy crap! Dirty twenty. Uh, was awesome. I missed it. Fitting. <laughs> <laughs> Ten. Oh like. no. What was yours, Boz? 15. Uh, Ty. Uh, Jory, you are first to react as you fling your bow No, down. I just drop it right at my feet. I don't fling it anywhere. And, and I'll, I'll draw, well, I don't have like two weapon fighting because it's first level, so I draw one. Uh, you can draw on the move, right? Yeah, I get like that. four friggin' systems here. All right, and then I'm going to go up and I'll make a strike at... Remember, if I get the drop in them, do I get sneak attack or is it just I gotta, if I attack first? Uh, no, you would have to attack one that's not focused on you. And there are four and they're each going to go one on you. All right, then I'm gonna go attack, just roll attack roll <coughs> and roll. Now I roll shitty, of course. So that's not gonna hit. That's not even a 10. Oh, wait, that is a 10. Exactly. Close, but miss. Uh, first off, let's let's just double check. Ian, you are rolling something other than a D four for all these rolls, right? Just double check. Just, <laughs> just got a check, there, man. Hey, hey, do you D six. Can Pirate Dog Dice get him some dice? I, I was gonna say uh, to to our, our our stream watchers, this is what happens when you use dice from Wish. You should use our premium sponsor dice. Uh, That's right, it. Put in a plug. They nice are one. really. They are really, really. Made with love too. I can roll big red for you. <laughs> no. Uh, Baz, you and these creatures have tied. I'll let you go first because I doubt you will kill me. Even if you do, I will still get my attack. Well, have, I mean, there's four of them. Yeah, they look like mud men or I don't know. Yeah, what's the range to them? Ship monsters. We'll call them yeah. ship monsters. Yeah, there uh, we go. Range, they're, they're crawling right up onto that surface that you're at. Right. They are in I mean, melee range. If I, like, turn, can I get, like, two or more of them in a 15-foot cone? D12 against me. <laughs> Seven? Four. Yeah, I'll give you two. All right. Uh, I'm Do going you to... Like yours, yours and whose? Uh, whoever's just, like, I'll just twitch to my left a little bit and, and give it a blast. So whoever's there. Roll says Flutsums. All right. So I will uh, open up with um, Burning Hands. It's a DC 15 deck save. One's definitely a fail. One is definitely a save. Okay. Well, one of them will take half damage. Okay. Uh, that is five and six is 11 and three is 14 fire damage from Burning Hands. Uh, yours will take the brunt of it. Uh, Flotsam's will take the half damage because he's on the angle. Uh, it is my turn to attack. Let's see. Uh, on Baz, on Even. Even. Uh, it spits mud at you. Give me a Ew. save. Oh, that's a nat 20 and plus one is 21. Uh, very nice. You are not blinded. Bad news, Jory. That's a nap 20. Good news is it's fists. 
That doesn't matter. You're still doubling the damage. Yeah, what? How about I use some of our uh, pirate dog dice? And, um, <laughs> I've, I've got, you know, I'm first level, so I got like nine hit points. Not anymore. You're down five. Uh, Willard. Uh, odd 15. Does that hit you? Uh, no, it does not. Major armor. <laughs> okay. Uh, Flotsam. Uh, I go ahead and charge the one that is uh, closest to me, and uh, I wail on it with my two attacks of an eight. Oh no! Oh no! No, I'm attacking you still. Oh, right. Yes, <laughs> yeah. he's um, calling his targets. Is what he's yeah. doing. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm just going through. Uh, Eighteen. I'm um, assuming that is you. correct. I will take the brunt of that. Uh, well, you got lucky. Four damage. Mm -hmm. uh, Ten is next. That is Willard. Uh, a tendril shoots from Willard's wit, uh, wrist uh, to, to one about, I don't know, midway. Nat 20, so whatever. <laughs> uh, you're like, whatever. Okay. Uh, that's two nat 20s, baby. Well, I had to roll to hit, so 21 to hit. Oh, yeah, you hit me. Okay. It's going to take, uh, let's see, uh, one slashing damage and uh, let's see. Uh, five and five, uh, 10 psychic damage. So 11. Cool beans. Uh, finally, Flutsum. Ah, I will do the thing that I was doing. I, I will step forward and I will uh, dual wield attack. So uh, Warhammer in one hand, Raper in the other. So that's an 18 and then 20 to hit. Both hit. Uh, uh, Baz, He, you are not going to be able to do burning hands again. Nope. Uh, go ahead, Flutsum. I was just going to say, if it matters, I've got uh, nine on uh, crushing damage, and then we have 11 on piercing damage. That one splatters. Give, oh. me, give me a DC 11, because as we all know, shit splatters. Uh, if it's not being modified, it's an 18 raw. And are these uh, of an ooze class, or are these actually elementals? They are mud methods, minor elementals. Okay. You are not blinded, so good news. Round two begins uh, with Jory again. Uh, there are right. only three of these creatures present. So move action to draw my dagger, <coughs> and then two. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, there's the nat one. That was the second attack. So we'll do <laughs> 17 on the first attack, though. Uh, you hit that. Go ahead and roll a D4 for your miss. Folks at home, if you're new to Robo Inc., if they roll a crit one on a hit, they hit their buddies, maybe. Uh, two. I'm not your friend. That's, that's you. That's true. You um, stab yourself. No one else <laughs> is fighting this thing, right? That is correct. I really need a buddy here. Oh, well, I did roll. Wait, what was my. Oh, physical combat. It's 1d8. Bats could be your buddy. <laughs> uh, well, that's 10 points of damage, though, to it. Okay. And two points of damage to me. That's halved, right? Yeah, that is halved. Fair enough. The 15s go next, Boz and the Methods. Um, that one that I wounded before mm -hmm. uh, with the Burning Hands, I'm going to cast Toll the Dead on him. DC 15 Wisdom save. Well, that's a four. I don't think I have 11 modifier. I was going to take a D12 of damage. Uh, that's 11 points of necrotic damage. Uh, that finishes it off. Give me your deck save to avoid being covered in poo. Uh, that's a 17. You are not, you are covered in poo, but you are not blinded in poo. However, oh, you and my I, dry cleaning is going to be expensive. You and I tied. So let me see what I do as you kill me. Uh, I miss. So who gives a crap? Uh, Jory, the wounded. Uh, doesn't matter. I don't think uh, 11 is going to hit you, right? Nope. Thank God for that because uh, I'm about to fall. Willard? Uh, Nat 20. Again! This is on fire, baby. <laughs> it's not even uh, big red, is it? No, it's the root beer die. It's so pretty. The root beer die, and I'm also using the green die tonight. Uh, Willard, good news. It's just going to spit 
for lack of a better term, on you. So give me your DC dex. Uh, dex save? Yep. Splooch. Uh, 18. Uh, you close your eyes just in time as the poo covers you. Uh, last but certainly not least, what's some... Another 11. 11 doesn't hit you, right? Not this time. Uh, Willard, you are up. Uh, yeah. And Willard. Baz, you have successfully destroyed yours. Willard is like, uh, th that was rude. And uh, <laughs> potential uh, shoots from, from his wrist again. Uh, let's see. Uh, 19 to hit. Easily. Well, it takes an 11 to hit these creatures. Uh, uh, seven points of uh, slashing followed by the psychic, which is nine points of psychic. Uh, it implodes, sending poo your way. Give me a save. <laughs> nice. Uh, 18. You close your eyes and are still covered in poo. Uh, Flussum the mighty roller. Hi, oh, roller. Right. Vegas is calling. How many are left? Just the one? Just. I close the gap and I miss with a nine, but I hit with a 23. Uh, so 11 points of piercing damage. Uh, that is good enough to blow it up. However, since that is Jory, both you and Jory, cover your eyes and make that save. What is it? Reflex? Or reflex? Uh, dex. Sorry. Hi, I've been hi welcome that. to D&D. &D. Yeah, I've been <laughs> playing the other person all wow. day. So. 14. Uh, well, I've net 20, so no problem. Uh, you guys are covered in poo, but you are not blinded. Ah, this is rude. Uh, everybody roll. So rude. Uh, everybody roll a d20. 15. Nine. I think Ooh. I rolled that the last time. 11. Oh, number two. <laughs> uh, flotsam as you whip the poo or mud. We'll say mud. Uh, off your face, you notice a small shine that your lantern is pointed directly at. It's a little bit out into the water area, but there seems to be a mound of debris, debris in there. Uh, and something in that pile is shiny. Oh, that definitely doesn't seem suspicious. I will head towards it, but uh, I will take a quick stop and I'll pull out a bar of soap and I will offer it first to... Um, Baz, since I know he was worried about his dry cleaning bill. Uh, you can hand it to the others. Uh, and uh, I will uh, head over towards that uh, that player bait, and I will go for the shiny thing. Uh, much like every other sewer, there is a dip in the center, so you are now waist high in the sewage, but you reach the obstruction just peachy, and as you get close, you notice that it is a bracelet partially covered in mud, and it is adorned with several small pearls. This thing, once cleaned up, would easily fetch quite a penny, if you will. Uh, I, I'll uh, pull out the shiny, and uh, I will show the group, like, ah, oh, our hard efforts are being rewarded. Um, wow. Huzzah. Oh, wait, wait uh, is this murder hobo? He's not just, like, stuffing it away to keep all the money? Well, he's um, kind of in the middle, so he can't really hide. Well, that, 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 no, no, you're. That's cool. That's cool. Well, I wouldn't. Have done lawful the same. good and it's just uh, hard work into a fault. So uh, <laughs> I love and, it. And you guys can take it off his body after you kill him at nine forty-five. Exactly. So <laughs> if someone could be a deer and grab the lantern, um, that would be fantastic. I I have to go. I go back and grab. Well, actually, you have to go back and grab my bow. So I grab the lantern. Baz, uh, maybe after after you've done Frank, check the deal. Out, maybe you can uh... as uh, as you head on back holding aloft your prize, you yell out to Jory to uh, grab your lantern, give me a perception check. What David? Uh, what David? Uh, you saw the just... chat. <laughs> I just oh, I did everybody. Uh, Flats on the pile is moaning <laughs> behind you. Jesus. Um, you know, I, I will. My my first instinct that is it's probably going to be sent up with booze like creatures. That is my favorite foe, and I will hack at it with the the weapons in hand. 
<laughs> uh, so that is a 13 and a 12. That's right, 14 and a 12. Don Quixote is still covered in sewage up to his uh, chest, begins to batter the pile. Uh, and uh, true to your profession, Flotsam, uh, you managed to carve it up so well that the force of the stream pushes the obstruction uh, down the left and the right, uh, allowing for clear passage of further sewage. You'll Those probably save the job. city. Some, yeah, you you probably save the city some coin. Uh, nice. once, once you have done uh, dulling mm -hmm. your weapon, you mm -hmm. can climb out. And again, you first heard, you guys think you heard it from the left? but you aren't sure. I will allow you to reroll if you would like, although the ferret does have at least four rounds on you. No, I don't know shit. Four, 14 for ferret sunset. That's 10. 13. Uh, perception, uh, let's see. Um, you know, 14. It, as we're going along, just in case we need to like run out of here, I just realized mm -hmm. that we're gonna be running blindly through a sewer. I'm gonna start marking. Oops on the walls which way we're going sure. uh so with charcoal and chalk i'm just going to make marks on the walls so we don't get lost later gotcha uh flotsam and willard you notice uh faint very faint uh small little feet tracks indeed running down the left path uh i uh call attention to the the tracks over, over here, guys. I think I see tiny footprints. Hey, guys. Willard, can your rat like chase down this ferret and maybe like talk some sense into it? Like, oh, uh, that's an idea. Uh, I believe ferrets. But of, but of, rats. but of course. Um, so I, I. Uh, <laughs> I'll break off a corner of one of my rations and give it to your rat to like. Oh, he's take, fine. He's fine. Oh, to take to the ferret. To like, oh, to the ferret. Yes. Sure. 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 sure, sure. It'll do that. <laughs> so, so I send Ben ahead with a morsel of food. Again, the glow on top of his head. I can see him bobbing around. What color do you want uh, Ben to be? Uh, the green. <laughs> you should have picked the damn root beer one. Six. Yeah, the root beer is 19. Because it's uh, been rolling so well tonight. Uh, Willard, uh, as you see, your little minor cap uh, buzz down. Uh, does everybody follow? Yeah. Going into a tunnel, uh, did we want the same lead or different lead? I'm fine How being big is the up front unless someone I don't want to deprive. I like but, uh, I like the same. I like I, I would like to just continue being second. To I'd Ben, like to continue being in the back. Uh, Flotsam, as you uh, jog uh, down the tunnel, <coughs> you notice that there is a slight expansion in it. It looks as though uh, several pipes coalesce in this area. This is against uh, code, clearly. Well, you and Willard, <laughs> since you are in the business, uh, give me an arcana check, please. Do you, ar ar I also have mason tools. Uh, uh, if it is arc, what? fifteen for Willard. Sorry. Uh, if it's arcana, it's I have a one. They're looking at pipes. <laughs> That's what I'm curious about. Where this is going? Uh, as you continue to scratch your markings, Willard. <clears throat> you surmise that this is probably a large junction, possibly a main street uh, that you are passing over. Uh, Willard, you hear your beloved friend and confidant, Ben, squeal uh, as if in pain. That's, uh -oh. that's not a good sound, is it, Willard? That is no, not a good sound. Not. Not. <laughs> uh, with the bullseye lantern, uh, firmly pointed, you see a mass of vinage uh, blocking the way, and poor Ben is wrapped up. Eee! He's being choked out like oh, no. uh, somebody's in a gimp house. Oh, Everybody, no. initiative. Wait, the sure. ferret got through, but he didn't? 
19 to uh, buzz through there. Uh, 21. 19. 11. 19. 18 plus one. Uh, all yeah. but one of you beat that. me. Uh, we will do yeah. the 21. Uh, Willard, you are third in line, uh, so you're going to have to do missile or ranged magic because you got the two meat shields in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to whip out at the the tendrils with uh, chilled touch. What was the question, Flotsam? If in your if rules, are you allowed to delay action or do you or like hold action or okay? Yeah, uh, 20 to hit. Yep, that hits, and uh, it is uh, uh, seven points necrotic damage. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I got a pair of 19s here, Boz. You're at the very back, you would need to use range. Uh, yeah. Flutsum, you're right in front. You see the life being choked out of Ben. Um, well, I, I throw myself at. Um, it, it's just after the obstruction, or is this, or is it? It's the obstruction actually has it. Okay, okay. Uh, I will throw myself bodily at it to try to rescue the the rats. Sure. Um, I don't know if that is going to be more logical in your perspective to have an opposed grapple, or for me to the hack, like hack and slash. Uh, first off, hit it. Uh, so if it's a strength base, it's an 18. Oh, yeah, you got a hold of it. Uh, it's vine blight choking the life out of Ben. So, would you like to tear at the tendrils that it has been wrapped in, or do you want to pin the tendrils down and try and cut Ben out? Your choice. Um, I, I think my instinct is <laughs> going to try to like wrap my legs around it and try to pry it away from the rat because it, it's, I'm assuming it's being actively choked. So uh, like forced or other things, I'm just going to try to pry it free. So it, it less, less rat squeeze. Sure. Let's do a uh, strength grapple. Uh, so if that's just pure strength, that's a 19. Yeah, I got an 11. Uh, so yes, you managed to tear off the vine, choking poor Ben. His eyes are bulging mm-hmm. even more so than ever, but you have saved Ben this round. Thank uh, you. <laughs> in the back, Baz, what do you want to do? Oh, I'm going to point out my finger and shoot a rainbow eldritch blast and smash into the vines. Please be a one. Please be a one. Please be a uh, one. Nope. Sorry. 17 plus seven is uh, 24. Easily hits. Uh, that does a D10 of force damage. I wonder why he wanted to roll a one. So he hits one of you guys. That was, yeah, um, and it'd be really was, bad to hit me right now. Oh, I thought it was because I was, I was in the lead. That was my... Oh, no. He has all three of you in front of him. He can hit anyone. Oh, that's okay. uh, yeah. That... I rolled a nine. Do I add my spell attack bonus to that damage or what? I don't know. You know I don't do spell casters. No, uh, for Eldritch no. Blast, I think it's just the spell. Just a D10 of four yeah. It's nine. You only it's use the trip. spell attack bonus Got to it. attack. Uh, Eleven, Jory, you and I tied. I'll go ahead and let you go first. Darn it. The hell do I want to do? I mean, is this thing like moving on its own or something? It's fluttering like if you were in a car wash. Uh, I am freaking... And and Flutsam has thrown himself onto the pyre, as it were. I'm going to hit him with advantage here in a minute. I want to... You know what? Uh, I probably can't sneak attack this thing. (laughs) I assume I can't do that, can I? Nope. I'm going to step up to it and I'll try to hit it. I don't like this one bit, though. Uh, 11 plus 6 is 17. Hits. Oh. Let me check. Oops, I need that. Uh, oh, shoot. I just screwed up roll 20. All right, well, I will roll my... I believe a rapier is piercing. I don't know if that makes a difference. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, cool. Uh, 3 plus... Or seven points of damage. Not bad, not bad. Uh, Plasm, as you have thrown yourself on, I will give you the choice. 
Do you want me to roll green or root beer to try and hit you? Uh, I will go with a root beer, please. I don't know oh, why no. you guys always do this. Just root- say it. It's good to know you. Mm-hmm. Root beer is the one rolling well. Uh, that is only a 12 plus oh, four, 16. It's refreshing. I didn't know better. What, 16? For armor class? Yeah. Oh, oh actually, hit- that does hit or no? Oh, it does hit. Okay. Because, yeah, I forgot advantage. Let's, you yeah. know, shits and giggles. Oh, 18. Uh, okay. Uh, so, first off, give me a DC 12 strength, and you are going to be I throttled. I drinking it. It's a 14. Uh, you are not captured, but you are down six hit points. Well, that is not very good in the slightest. Uh, I am kind of on death's door here, folks. That's two of us already. Yes. And we, uh, can't, we can't rest for an hour either. You can. You can just won't the lose ferret. the ferret. Uh, That's why I round, can't rest for an hour. Round two, 21, Willard, you're up. The vine blight's looking kind of peaked. Uh, is um, uh, Fletzum and Jory in my way? Are they like embroiled into this? Oh, so I can't use that. All right. Fletzum has oh. taken a nap on the bed of tendrils. Uh, <laughs> Jory is he, 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 poking it like a musketeer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm not a cool musketeer. Hey, musketeer. I'm an, uh, I'd be an awesome musketeer. <laughs> well, again, I'm going to lash at it with uh, chill touch. Yep. Please be a one. Please be a one. Please be a one. 20. <laughs> not natural. That hits. Uh, that is five points of necrotic damage. Is that thunder? Ah, uh, the necrotic damage is more than enough to round up the vine. Uh, vine. Oh, you are bad. That's nice. right. Uh, Flutsum, as you are embroiled in the tentacles as they are, uh, you feel them weaken, grow crisp, and snap beneath your girthy weight. Give me a perception check, though. Six, uh, 17. Uh, Jory, give me a perception check. That probably was thunder, by the way. It looks like you're getting some weather your way. Perception, 15. Jory and Flotsam as the vines wither and die because Roundup does a nice job fast unless you get cancer from it. Uh, you notice Ooh, quick acting Roundup. a squ- skeletal remains beyond the curtain that was the vine blight. Do they uh, animate? They do not animate. It looks like it was a delver of some kind uh, with a thick backpack. Oh, no. Oh, good. A backpack. Uh, I will hand the rat back to Willard. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> g- gently. Uh, <laughs> wham, wham, wham. <laughs> I'm like, thank you. If anyone has any healing, um, it would be most appreciated. For yeah, I don't while. think there is any healing in this part. No healers. I'm uh, at two hit points, and you're at one. I am one. also at two hit points. We Woo! are Ranger twinsies, you and I. Yeah, we need to get with the other two down to two so we can all. If be. you have any interest in joining uh, the Clinton Sons Gong Farming and Night Soil in- nice. Services, we would always have room for another. <laughs> Our- uh, table talk before we started, I didn't get a chance to tell him Ben is actually a familiar, so I could have unsummoned him. <laughs> so I'm sorry, guys, Dick. <laughs> oh my uh, god, you more. <laughs> I don't know if my, my cube appears in your field of vision, but I, I said, This is this is this is this is table talk. So, Willard, you know feels bad about it so he's he's got healing kits and he's what a bandaging he uh, applies back teen and a band-aid yeah pretty much yeah so yeah Um, i at least press the digitate everybody i mean it's the least that i can do oh thank you thank you (laughs) oh thank you 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 are my favorite person oh the bar of soap i left it somewhere there was water. Well, it'll float, so it will come back down. To so, us. will will the healing kits help them at all? As far as 
hit points or anything like that? Nope. Not unless you're a physician, right? <laughs> Not until they get a short Heal- rest. Healing kits are to stabilize them. Oh, okay. Well, I, I have, I still have a few, so. Right, well, you, got, you got the skeleton with the backpack. Okay. I'm so going there. I, I, on that because I, I, I was going to check out. 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 I was yeah. going to check out because heck, rogue. Of course, yeah. I know it's in the backpack. D12 yeah. against me. Oh no! <laughs> it's gets a mimic, right? What the hell's a D12? Sorry. There we go. Oh, that was lousy. Four. Yeah. There are three bottles oh. in there. Oh, oh, okay. Two broken bottles. Shit. And a wet map. What do the bottles look like? Are they potion bottles? They look like or potion bottles. Yeah, mm-hmm. bottle. Is there a red potion in it? Does it? I don't know. Arcana? Was it an Arcana check? Is there a nifty blue potion that gives me a spell slot back? I mean, uh, yeah, huh? There's <laughs> a blue, a green, and a brown. Well, um, two of them are irre- irrelevant now. <laughs> Yeah, but two of them are in broken bottles, so they're not in there. No, no, no. no there, there were three there's, in additional two. There's broken. a blue potion, a green potion, and a brown potion, and two broken potion bottles. And well, if we got ten minutes, Willard can identify them. <laughs> he can cast identify. Ten minutes? Help. I'm sure that feral just hang out waiting. Yeah, yeah that's, that's why, why I'm, we can't I'm, just, I'm just well. I'm just offering. Okay, so well, well I mean. We didn't sign a contract, did we? No, you did not. So, and this bangle that we have is worth something. something. Mm -hmm. I mean, it would be worse if we died for a small amount of coin. So, oh, I'm all for resting. It's just such a pittance. I mean, that I we can do our best, but we're not going to service anyone if we're if we die. I mean. Just a um, thought. We should at least check out the map. I mean, this could be one That's of my this could be one of my fellow workers that was caught down here. So. Okay, we'll go to the map. Uh, it is a map of the sewers. Uh, it is hand sketched. This guy looks like he might have been an employee. Willard, you will not know him. Uh, and it appears as though the map is damp because of the broken potion bottles, not because it was in any Bring it out. of liquid. Uh, can press a digitation and dry it off? Yeah, sure. Okay. Here, I I'll, hand I'll do, do the map anyways. Uh, I do I'll, that. I'll, I'll dry it off. No coin in that backpack? Nope, that's what the roll was for. No coin. Uh, I'll just give some type of blessing or you know, like some type of prayer thing if it's a fellow gong worker who's died in service. Just some so, uh, so are we abandoning the mission itself? I, well, um, no, I don't. I, I, I'd like to proceed on to where the ferret, up, up a ways to where the ferret was last heard. I can see in the dark, so I don't need to take the light source with me. So as Jory, Flotsam, and Willard look over the goods, uh, you wander up to area... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, This is also a juncture. It goes straight, it goes left, and it goes right. So you guys want to look around. See which way the ferret went. Mm -hmm. Uh, Just... um, just think out my name if you run into any trouble. <laughs> I should 19 hear you. for perception. Looking around, see if I can see something. Uh, are you taking the lantern? No, I have dark vision. Okay. Uh, what was your roll again? I'm sorry. 19 is my straight roll. Left. Uh, okay. If I was using wisdom perception, it'd be a 22. Uh, okay, I'll go left. Easily, easily left. Uh, you're going to go what you consider the length of a long building, perhaps, and you come to another intersection. Some of it is under construction, new construction, uh, but at this juncture, uh, the rough channel here bisects with brick. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, brick well-formed passage, water, sewage, and other debris bangs into the wall at this location. It appears that you will have to leap across the trash flowing down the main line because Flotsam cleared the channel and it is moving quickly. So if well, you want to proceed clean. to the other side, you must make a leap of faith. Oh, 
Sure. Please fail us. <laughs> Let me get my rainbow oh, die. Holy shit. Okay. What do you want, athletics or uh, uh, acrobatics? I put, I put dexterity. I'll give you either. I'll oh, I'll take that. the dexterity. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, that's an 18 plus 119. You make it across. Hooves clattering. No, it's not hooves. It's insecta. Oh, your hooves. Uh, you hear insecta noises Ooh, coming lovely. from the ceiling. In your dark vision, you see a bulbous creature headed directly at you with oh, mandibles shit. clicking. Well, you know what Eldritch Blast does, right? Yeah, and I, <laughs> and I know what this thing does. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know, but I'm a warlock, so... Sure. Yeah, one trick pony. We we were not gonna we weren't gonna wait ten minutes. Were Does we? a sixteen hit? Oh yeah, three. It hits. Uh, nine points of force damage. Nice. Rainbow to the face. And yes. You, you can do uh, Arcana check to see if you know what this is. Sure. Should be pretty high though. Uh, that's a fifteen. That's not that high. No, it, it looks like. Uh, I don't know. It looks like a centipede, maybe. It's a big squishy Ooh. bug. Uh, meanwhile, back at the backpack, Jory... Oh, by the way, Lord... I scream. Ah! Oh, oh, shit. There goes our rest. Yeah. <laughs> right, oh, we have to re You'd have to rest for an hour. That's just... I don't want to be down here that long. Uh, all right. All right you can always, you can always risk the potion. Uh, you know what? If one of us goes down, we may risk the potion. I'm going to hand the potions... I want... Will it to take the potions? Okay, I'll hold on to them. Yeah. And then I want to. Yeah. I thought two of them were broken. I thought there were no, five total. There were five. Gotcha. So I wanted. Then I'm gonna go running towards that that call, that cry. Uh, Flossum, she takes off running, or yeah, she takes off running. What do you yeah. want to do? Oh, Flossum, sorry. Um, I will. Um... <laughs> I will head after. I'm not going to leave anyone behind, and I'm going to go full steam. Yeah, Willard, you know, uh, runs with him. <laughs> uh, okay. Like I said, it's putting really, the backpack on, and it's know. a it's a really long building uh, ahead. Since he's using dark vision, you don't see anything. Uh, Jory in the lead. So, Flotsam, you are trying to maneuver your hooded lantern around so that her ass doesn't break the beam, uh, and you can see movement up ahead. I uh, do have I do have Willard, dark vision, by the way. Is it Willard, can you carry this so I can carry my weapons? Uh, the lantern? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. That'd, be, that'd be good. So, Jory, yes, you do have dark vision. No, you are getting... <laughs> Caught in the glow, so get that door in the in between round one. Baz, I will attack. Okay. Oh, 16. That hits me. Give me a con save. Ow. Oh, Ow. yes, nat 20. Yeah. Nice. Uh, Al is just the half of it, though. Al? Oh, no. At BBG, anybody? What? Oh. Wow, already? <laughs> so soon. Wait, yeah. what's that? Uh, five hit points of damage. Uh, Baz. Round Ow. two. Uh, Jory, Willard, and... Well, actually, all of you. Everybody rolls initiative. Okay, we're all are coming. Ooh, that's nice. 19. 21. Not 20 on my knit roll. Uh, <laughs> 9 for Willard. 13. Uh, 18 for me. Uh, Jory, Willard, Flotsam, you pull up and there is a cyclopoid, I think is how it's described. Looks like a giant centipede <laughs> hanging on the ceiling uh, with all kinds of whiskers hanging off of it, uh, smacking Baz in the head. We will start with the nat 20, 21. Baz, uh, you are currently engaged in this thing. Go ahead. Yeah. 
I'm going to Eldritch Blast it and run the fuck away. Are you going to careen into Jory or run a different direction? <laughs> oh, if whatever is away from it and open. Well, remember, you have to make a leap to get to Jory. Oh, then I'll run the other way. Fair yeah. enough. Okay. Yes. I'm, I'm in a basic, like, ow, panic. You should be. Uh, Eldritch Blasting with a nat 20. Damage, damage modifier. A 27 to hit. And... Awesome job. Uh, 9, 5, 14. <gasps> That's it. No modifier. 14 damage! Along with the 9 from before. Yep. Uh, 19. Oh, and you run south, uh, which, give me a survival roll. Uh, 17. You're headed back to the plaza, you think, uh, running at full tilt. The 19 is up next. Flotsam, uh, go ahead. Um, I, I'll close on that centipede. Um, and since I had given my lantern back, I've got both weapons. Uh, so I have a 22 and a 12. But first, you must <laughs> leap across the waterway. Oh, naturally. This should not be a problem at all. In Do you fact, want to use the 20? <laughs> flying word. attack. Do you want to use the 20 as your leap attack? I'm sorry, say again. You, you had a 20 and a what? Well, I had a 22 and a 12. Um, if you want to use the 22, you can use that for your leap. You can use the 12 for your first attack, and then you can re-roll for the second attack. That's fine. I, I rolled for, for leap. I, I rolled a... If if it's strength, it's a 22. If it is dexterity, it's 20. Uh, it's, what, whatever. It's, I was pre-rolling just to save time. Sure. No, not a problem at all. Uh, so you leap across, and what were your rolls to hit? Uh, so then in that, in that case, I like a 12 and a 20... <laughs> Something like that. 20 so hits. Cool. Yeah. All right. 12 uh, So, in that case, that would be with a rapier. So, it has 10 points of piercing damage. Nice. Nicely done. However, uh, what am I going to do? Like well, since you're here, I will make you a snack. Uh, 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 13 and 10. So, 17 and 14. I am disliking you at this moment. Uh, a 17 does hit a 14 no. my AC. Uh, I'm sorry, the 14 what? 14 is my AC currently, so... You're hosed! Uh, give me a DC 13 Woo. versus con. Oh. Aha! Uh, so that is a 21. You are paralyzed. <laughs> You're okay, going much, down, I, wait, I, got 20, I thought you said it was DC... Wait, what? DC 21. I got 21. DC 13 versus con. You are not paralyzed. Oh, yeah. I thought you said I was paralyzed. And I was like, Yeah, but you're going to be... be. I should be dead and not in rigor mortis. Yeah, <laughs> seven, yeah. seven damage. You're down. Uh, He's uh, down. So that, drop, so that drops me to negative five. Uh, you're going to save an hour later. Uh, death rolls are at the start of your turn. So you're, All right. you're good to go here. Uh, Boz, give me a perception check. A nat 20? Damn it. Uh, uh, seems as though your friends caught up and are uh, engaged. Yeah, well, once, engaged. I'm at ra- once I'm at the end of my movement, I'll turn around and shoot it again. Fair enough. 13, Jory, uh, you skid up. Do you want to make the jump or you... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm staying here and I'm going to shoot it. Yeah. Fair enough. You notice I... that your friend Flotsam is down, face down, yeah, drooling can... into the sewer. There's nothing I can do, unfortunately. As long as I'm making bubbles, I'm good. Oh, yeah. That's a good roll, though. That's uh, uh, that's 22 to hit. Easily. D6. I know. I wonder that I move. So, actually, let me check something on bonus actions here. Uh, whoa, that was max you will, you will get uh, You will get a uh, sneak attack because it was focused on your associate. Oh, okay, cool. All right, so we'll start with it's going to be max damage for that part. Sneak attack, I think, is 2d6. Yes. Wait, let me check. Is it 2d6 at this level? Or is it 1D6? It's 1d6. Okay, right. Uh, fine, I'll re-roll one of them. Oh, ha, huh. roll better. Uh, 11 plus 4 is 15 points of damage. Let me check something. Fair enough. 
last but certainly not least, Willard. Do you want to make the leap of faith to try and save your associate, or do you want to use range? Uh, uh, I am going to make the leap of faith uh, to save my associate. Please be a one. Please be a one. Please what am I rolling? Uh, Dex? Dex. Okay. Uh, ooh, not bad. 21. You cross over, and you do not land on your friend. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to grab him by his shoulders and all that and start backing away. <laughs> Fair enough. New round. Boz, you have put on the brakes. Here are your friends in combat, except for Flossum, who is down and dribbling all over everywhere. Right. What, what do you want to do? Oh, you know, I'm a warlock. Uh, pew! I'm going to guess Eldridge Blast. Exactly. Pew! Uh, that's a 24 to hit and 8 points of force damage. Not bad. Not bad at all. My turn. <laughs> I'm, I'm 60 feet away. I'm happy to... <laughs> no, you're, you're fine. This thing's climbing on the walls, so it's going to be Jory Odd Willard Even. Every six seconds I can go pew. Eight. Uh, Willard, uh, it sees you dragging away its lunch, and it is pissed. Uh, 18. Uh, an 18 does hit. Uh, give me your con save. Whoa. Uh, 18. The ice maker. Uh, to me. You are not uh, paralyzed. However, you do take seven damage. Ouch. Okay. Yeah, this is... Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, Jory. Right, we're going to shoot it again. I guess it's still engaged. We're gonna try oh, it. oh, oh, actually, hang on a second. My bad. Uh, Flossum, go ahead and do your first death roll. Man, you're going to treat me like I'm dead. All right. Come on. 15. Made it. Yay. That's one. Jory, you're up. All right, let me try to hit this freaking thing. I didn't think you were dead. I thought you were inconsequential. At this point. Uh, 15 points. Unconsequential. Oh, unconscious quential. What? He's Ooh. consequential, but not there good enough. There are consequences. Right. Unconsciously <laughs> consequential. 20, 21. It. Oh, that's... Oh, double sixes! So that's 12 Sweet, plus 4 is... That's 12 plus 4... I came to math 16. The cephalopod falls Ooh. off of the ceiling into the drink, splashing the three of you with sewage, uh, uh, and then is carried off by the current. Uh, Willard, what would you like to do? Uh, this is the, end of the round. Uh, yeah, with uh, pulling uh, Flesum to safety, I'm just going to say, well, which of these potions do you, you think I should give him? What were the colors again? Is he Blue, green, brown. I'm saying blue. <laughs> Does anybody have medicine? We say, don't you... Uh, or, I thought Willard had healer kits. Yeah, I have healing kits, so I That'll can stabilize, stabilize him. him. Why don't you yeah. stabilize him? Then we can take the ten, we can take the hour rest and check it. I mean, we're not taking an hour rest. We can't. I don't want. It's, so that's it's not going to do him any good. It's coming too far from the spirit. We're valuing no, the spirit over here. I was going to say the ten minutes to figure out what the potions were. Oh, I will stabilize him first, <laughs> and then uh, yeah, start casting identify. Uh, so Wait you're waiting ten minutes. 10 minutes. We gotta. Why not? Fuck that yeah. ferret. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I'm I'm kind of in that vein too. Of fuck that ferret. Uh, does identify tell you exactly what it is, and does it tell you what all of them are? Uh, you choose an object that you can touch throughout the casting. Uh, if it's a magic item or some other imbued object, you learn its properties and how to use them. Which well, one I mean, do you want to touch? Magic would let you determine the aura of the potion. I have oh. that too, but that's another 10 minutes. Which one? Which one? Which one? Uh, the blue I'm one? Dead. I'm dead. I mean, check blue. the blue. I'll check the blue. Yeah, I'm he's sauntering like, back to the group. 
Oh, no, thanks for joining us. You, you've already been stabilized, so you're at zero. So you check the blue. It appears mm -hmm. to be a healing elixir. Okay. Oh, thank God, use that. Okay. I uh, use that on uh, oh, offer to taste it. Never mind. Earlier, did you say that you were part of a waterboarding organization? Mm-hmm. I am. Are you literally going to waterboard me with a healing potion? He's going to plug your nose for it. Yeah, does that's it. it. Does, does it actually heal me? If you're I, I, ha I have the yeah, bag to cover does. your face and just start pouring water. <laughs> uh, uh, it maxes out at nine hit points, Flaza. Uh, there you go. So I was stabilizing at zero, so that gives me a total of nine, correct? Correct. All right. Zero I, plus nine. You feel much better. Thank you ever so kindly. I am very grateful, so... Um, did we get the centipede? Uh, yes, we did. <laughs> it Thank floated you. away. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, if you know, we're good. Uh, I, did uh, 10 minutes give us uh, a short rest, hit dice no. roll, or anything? No, okay, gotta have an hour. All right, so, uh, well, if we're saying screw this ferret for 10 minutes we might as well sell say screw the ferret for an hour i at that point there wouldn't be much ferret left true we don't there's a whole lot of sure. dungeon left or i mean sewer so far we found a bracelet i mean as far as we know this could just be a neurotic ferret and it's just squealing for no reason at all <laughs> so i'm beginning to think that because it seems like it could walk through every friggin bad thing here and if we're heading without in the effect if we're in a big loop now towards where it started, it could just I mean, be. You know, if you heal up all the way, you're a big strong ranger. As in folk. Well, I'm. Uh, identify. Uh, okay. What do we want to do? Because I can cast uh, uh, another ritual spell if we're waiting a little longer or whatever while we're doing it. Um. Anybody feel really healthy about running down the road here and looking for this ferret right now? I mean, I feel fucking great. I just got pumped full of blue sh shit. I'm, I am great. I am less great than that. Yeah, I'm less great too. And, <laughs> it's, been, too. and it's been 10 minutes. Yeah, since we've been talking no, about I, this. I, I well, the Mighty to, Ranger could go on and try and track the ferret while we uh, rest for an hour. No. Yeah, that sounds like a... But then he'll scream and you'll all go running off. I'm gonna... I'm, I, we don't... Have time. I don't want to be in a sewer for a freaking hour. Are you, I mean, if, if that's how you feel, you would not be very cut out for the Clinton Sons Gong Farming and Nice Soil Services. <laughs> that's <laughs> why. <laughs> well, why do you think I'm not? Why You're do you think I'm failing the interview? I'm, I mean, I'm 20 not gold interviewing pieces. for this. I this do is not a, wish this. This is a dirty job. But, you know, uh, you know what? I mean, if, if you want me to go and hunt down the ferret. I'm oh. sure nothing else bad could possibly be in the sewer, so <laughs> you can rest and I will... I, 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 no, I want to, I'll go, I will, I'll, I'm just saying I'll an hour you should still be able you. to pick up the trail. I, I look at the map and, uh, am I noticing, like, any kind of no notice, uh, notification or anything like that? Our that trail that's, this way? like, any hazards, like X marks or anything like that? There's a big question mark on the line that you are on crisscrossing. That's exactly over where should we should be going. Two different intersecting points, but if you continue on the path you're on, it's a question mark. Uh, and unfortunately, the cleaning of the map uh, has uh, not restored the erased portion caused by the fluid. So okay. clearly, the owner of the map. Uh, Found something. Okay. Well, I mean, either we rest as a group or two of us go off. So, I mm. mean, if someone wants to go with me to hunt down the spirit, but again, it's like 20 GP. And yeah, I mean, you shouldn't I go, mean, go alone. And that question sewer. mark's alluring. Well, Just I, put, it, put, it, put it like this I mean, if we're thinking about the value of human life, I mean, would you fight a giant crab to the death for 20 GP? I mean, chances are you're probably going to say, that funny 20, that you should say that. <laughs> funny, you don't even know the things I do for 20 gold pieces. Oh, uh, by the way, Willard, you uh, there is another notation at the bottom of the map, presumably the owner. Okay. Well, I'm uh, saying 
let's just take a vote if we want to rest or not as a group. I don't. I want to go. Okay. And Fine. I've got two hit. I got less hit points, I think, than every one of you. So I want to go. Uh, what is the notation by the M row? M row. R O E. Uh, one of them I, caught it. <laughs> I, I caught it. It's a dirty job. It's when somebody's no. got You got to yeah. call Mike Rowe. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Very poor, clever. poor Mike. Very <laughs> clever. Poor Mike. That's there awesome. has to be a pop culture reference somewhere in the game. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be. It would be probably a tiefling as well. I've heard Mikael. <laughs> so, uh, rest, no rest. Just go. Uh, Baz, we didn't hear your opinion. I can Eldritch Blast all day, but I'd prefer to rest. Now, Willard, you do notice where that intersection point is. Mm -hmm. There's probably a ladder up. Yeah. I may just go for the ladder up because if we're going to get that far behind the ferret, I'm saying fuck this and I'm going to a bar. We'll we'll go into one more. That sounds appealing. There you go. I mean, is, is this person waiting for us? I mean, who cares? There's a child who's crying by a grate. That would just mean I'd have to spend my own money. Right now, you have mm. a map with details, two potions, possibly magical, and a bracelet with pearls on it. And 40 minutes. Oh. Does anyone want to try on the bracelet? I mean, or all this, all like this time debate. that we've been debating, I, don't think- I was What's casting. The <laughs> I mean, does it go with my outfit? Does it go with black and crimson? Not so much. No, I don't want to try it on. Within this time, do I surreptitiously get off detect magic? <laughs> well, uh, you wouldn't be the only one that would see if anything was magical. Right, right. Okay. Um, I, I'm just asking with your permission if, uh, you know, during our conversation, what seems to be taking over 10 minutes, could I have God. been casting Detect Magic at that point? I don't give a shit. If you want to, you can. Okay, I have. <laughs> Both potions are magical, the bracelet is not. Okay. Uh, any uh, properties off of it, like uh, schools of magic or anything like that? It... Uh, I'm not, I won't do that with potions. So. Oh, okay. All right. But they are magical, not poison. Uh, okay. then to, to jumpstart things back, I have a 19 for uh, ferret detection. Uh, okay. It looks like it's going to take you to the question mark. Okay. Um, of course it will. I knew it would. Or the bar. Would be metagaming. Either one. Sure. If we don't go, I'm going, and I'm going to the bar. And I'm huh? pretty sneaky, so oh, I probably let's go to the question. The <laughs> okay, guys. Since I'm know. the less great of us, possibly, so I'm going to hang out towards the back. <laughs> oh, I only have two second. hit points. I have two hit points. I'm, oh, okay. I'm going to be hanging out towards I've the back. I've got three, actually. so. I'll hang out right in front of you. Fluzzy, and then I'll go right behind Fluzzy. Two and three, you say. <laughs> and I'm gonna, I and I'm gonna have my bow up because I'm gonna shoot everything at this point. Oh God! Uh, Can I take I'll, point? Do any I want Fluzzy. Never mind. <laughs> I'll. St- I mean, as long as Willard's still holding the lantern, I'll stealth in front. If that is going to help in the slightest. Okay. Against zero ships. Backlit. But... I'm just going to stay as immediately behind him as I can. So, so it looks like a giant shadow. Right. That's fair. Uh, just kind of peeking around one side. So he's got a growth actually, growing out the giant side. A ram horned growth grows out the giant side. Question, now, I, question for the jam. Actually, I take that back. I'll go behind Willard and then I should be able to stealth because it's a lantern. It's direct well, who, who here has dark vision? Willard do. does. Okay, he does. I'll have Ben go with you. Ben has a little cranial light. So that way he'll, you can follow him ahead of it. You know, and that way we oh, won't what's be dependent on the, on the lantern. You know what? Hold on. I'm going to roll an old school morale check because you nearly got Ben fucking killed the last time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I, see I, I say we all know he's a familiar, so I can summon him well, back. Right, well. Ben, ben I didn't you. You guys, 
You're so mean to your ferret, man. You let him sit there and get choked. Rat. It's a rat. A rat. Sorry. Yeah, I said familiar. You, let some, him get uh, you head down the trail, followed yes. by the rest of your compatriots. You notice the intersection points seem to be brand new uh, construction and very old construction. Was- As guest, there are iron rungs set in the wall here leading up to uh, a manhole cover. That's the second time that he pointed that out to us. That so. tavern? Or you Question can continue mark. on. <laughs> See, I think something's telling me that we should go up to a tavern and rest and maybe look for a ferret later or not. No, 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 no. no? If, no? Oh, if right. I go Let's up go. and rest, I'm not coming back. <sighs> Let's go then. Let's go. And you wonder why I didn't say it was a familiar? I never got a chance I mean, to say anything. Thank you. So, Fluzza, Fluzza, please. you're you're leaving. <laughs> what do you want? It's up to you, uh, Fluzz. Whatever you want to do. Oh, we're going after. Well, oh, I mean, there's a giant question mark. Right. We had previously last agreed on going to the question mark, so I'm going to go stick to the question that mark. and go towards the question mark, and Unless we'll we get feel our things. fates. Okay. Give, give me uh, uh, give me a performance check, Flazum and Willard, since you guys are in the biz. Perform, perform what? Because that's charisma based. Uh, yeah, I, to... I want job knowledge. Oh for... yeah, great. Yeah, I got tools and all kinds of shit going on. Uh, fifteen for Willard. Uh, that is a eight eighteen for me. Uh, both of you realize that uh, where you're going is not part of the sewer system and appears to have been created by non-governmental approved individuals. Ooh, bank fault. All right. This is this is not union work. Um, I think do I see any ferret tracks or did a ferret go up that pipe uh, 17 for ferret tracking? Uh the brand new construction and the path you are on now are completely dry. You have zero idea. Well, I mean, it would have dry, it would have wet feet. I, don't I can always send Ben up ahead of us. I've got five miles and we're linked uh, telepathically. Right. Send, send the rat. Why don't you send the rat up the up the, the ladder thing so we know what's up that way. So then that way we'll know. Whatever way you want to go. I'd so. say... Set them up, set them up the rooms, and then that way we'll we'll know what's up there, and then we can adjudicate a, accordingly. How okay, so I send him up. I'm I'm linked telepathically. Telepathically, I'm not going yeah. blind. So, meanwhile, back at the Hall of Justice, the rest of you <laughs> wait for what the rat says. Uh, the rat okay. says you guys are in a religious district. Ooh. Okay, uh, I relay I relay lay that. Uh, I see religious. I you know, icons all over the place. So religious yeah. district. There's a cart there with a coexist bumper sticker on it. <laughs> nice. In the sewer, really. Yeah. No, up top where up top. Uh, the rats looking. So there's religious stuff uh, up top. Willard D12 against me. The query. Seven. Nine. Uh, a rat of the opposite sex has spotted your familiar and is starting to put the moves on Ben. <laughs> or it could be a rat of the same sex. I, I'm not going to judge. You're not going to judge. Another rat has taken a purient sexual interest in your familiar and is going for it. Okay. Hey, baby, whatever, whatever like? you want, you can summon him back for the ultimate coitus interruptus. So, um, well, this, I'll, I'll, this other I'll, rat is called Ratatouille. I, I asked Ben if he wants me to summon him back. <laughs> uh, oh, no, 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 no. According to the dice, Ben has stopped communicating with you. <laughs> <laughs> I hey, figured it's much. Of the We've gotten to the rat sex part of the evening. <laughs> yeah. That's right. We can let, right. let Ben to, he'll let me know when he's done. Okay. Right. So. Uh, let us. Felt like we're going to abandon him this, on the astral plane. This question mark. And um, if there's no ferret, we can go up uptown. Okay. 
That's, sure. that's fine. Uh, as you proceed down this tunnel, it's very dark, but the shadows cast by the bullseye lantern are helping a little bit. Uh, but then you everyone. hear the Scooby-Doo entrance and the screech of bats. Everybody roll. Uh, uh, Frank? Yeah? For the record, because I want to go in this way, I'm making an 18 stealth check. Okay. Well, you're at the back, right? Yes, but I want to make sure I'm stealth so I can get sneak attack on if huh. they're not engaged with anybody. Sure. I've wasted another natural 20. 21. Okay. Uh, 12. Uh, four, 12 and 4? 20. Dirty 20. Uh, Flossum is apparently <laughs> covered in bats. Number 2 is Boz. Boz, you're up. <clears throat> well, um, I'll have to Eldritch Blast because, you know, Warlock. This is where Flozum dies. Oh, no. <laughs> um, this is where Flozum probably takes one point of force damage because I rolled a natural one and I rolled a two on the damage die. Flozum, you are rocked to the core as By a rainbow. damn <laughs> Warlock hits you. Uh, next up oh, is, whoops. is the other 20. It's not the way I wanted to hit you. Jory, uh, you got three people between or two people between you and the bats. It's not going to really change. I mean, there's no negatives to try to hit to avoid people in this edition. That's not an at one, so that's not great. Also, it is sneak attacking, so I assume they are considered. Well, you got to use. You have to use a missile weapon. I am. I'm using a short bow. I'm not going into frigging combat with two hit points. Uh, that is a fourteen, and I, and I am probably stealth to them with an eighteen. Uh, thirteen. Actually, Flossum. Wait, does that give me advantage if I'm stealth to them? I don't Let's remember. See why? Yeah. Well, uh, Blossom, they uh, biting. That, sharp. Mi um, that missed. No, you hit them. Well, then, all right. Can I roll damage? Wasn't fourteen your damage? No, fourteen was my hit. Oh, okay. Go ahead. I don't give you the. I have no idea what the AC. Twelve. Oh, that was awful. That was uh, three, seven points of damage. Yeah, it, it was 14. It was really 14. Uh, I got a 19 and a 10 to hit you, Flotsam. You may <laughs> develop rabies today. Go ahead and give me a con check and take ugh, three hit points of damage. Ah, oh, nuts buckets. Uh, so that's an eight on my con. So <laughs> how, many, how much did you say on the, uh, the three points of biting? Yeah, three hit points of damage. Balls. Uh, balls. <laughs> uh, 12 is up next. That is Willard. Wait, I had a I had a 19, I thought, for my... No, not a 4, sorry. Wrong. Yeah, yeah, wrong yeah, yeah, the, wrong. yeah, the 4. four. Yeah, the 19 on the previous yep, one. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, are, are, are these well, things sticking with us, or are they just... We're just getting hit as they're... Flying? They're on flotsam. Also, oh, wow. you are getting telepathic... Information uh, no. <laughs> that is disturbing to you about rat sex. Okay. Yes. <laughs> nice. Uh, rat rat coitus is stuck in your head. Uh, oh. I shouldn't make it a distraction. Yeah. I can hear the squeaking. <laughs> nice. <laughs> this cart is rocking. Don't come knocking. <laughs> you're, you're hearing Barry White somewhere uh, in your head. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God, I'm trying to trying to help him. Anything that I have to help him, I mean, he's in the way. Um. Jeez. Okay. Uh. You should do shadow puppets. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Ooh, do. Ooh. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> try to pick out one of the bats and cast animal friendship. Uh, to call out the attack and fly fly away. Uh, uh, 13, 13 wisdom. Uh, so I need a 17. I was going to say, you roll a wand, this is going to turn into a threesome. 
<laughs> nice. Uh, four, so zero. So one of the swarms will move off. Okay. Uh, and that brings us to Flotsam covered in bats. Not All right. Bat well, you've already said that uh, there are swarms. Swarms well, plural? All right. Swarms so, plural, but one of them has moved off. All right. I have an idea. Roughly how many bats how, have how moved off? How large is this, this chamber that we're in? Say that again. How large is this chamber that we're in? Uh, you are in a tunnel. Again. Um. Um. You have control over your own swarm that you can summon. No, that's at level three. Oh, god damn. That's it. why I was like, ah, nuts. I'm oh, okay. Uh, I Just since I am still a new player and I am not familiar with the DM logic in, in, in a capacity, my, my question is whether or not it would make more logical thing to just swing as a standard action or to recognize that these are bats that I've worked with and pull up my signal whistle and blow the shit out of their eardrums because they're bats in a close space that's going to echo with shrill, high-pitched whine. Hey. I just don't know if you're like... I like, like creativity. Oh, that's cool, man, and they yeah. just like, kill you anyways. I, I like, like creativity, yeah. Go ahead okay. and blow the whistle, and I'll roll a straight-up D20 to see how I do. Uh, that, that would seem to be the most logical course to actually get rid of all bats is to blow out their bat ears. I would agree. Uh, you summon your bat signal. Ah. Ooh, ooh. Four. So, uh, the bats start colliding with each other. Ah, yes. <laughs> uh, I will. I will give you that uh, because again, it was a wisdom, so uh, that is a goose egg for me. It also has the side benefit of Willard. Uh, you, Baz, and Jory kind of cover your ears at the shrillness. And that eliminates the rat sex images you were getting. <laughs> Thank <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, yeah, but, but as soon as you take your hands off your ears, it's just going to resume. Flotsam, uh, your continued whistling causes them to disperse rapidly ah. uh, in both directions, flying atop your associates, but not attacking. Uh, there you go. The tunnel is clear. Uh, you see a faint, faint light ahead. Ah, well, I'm glad that there's a light at the end of this tunnel, because shit. <laughs> um, I've got Why rabies. would there be I'm a light? In... What? Why would there be a light at the end of this tunnel? Actually, look look, God, like that's, a really good, that's a really good question. There shouldn't be any light down here. Yeah, that's exactly. Oh, so my God. What's it, on the map? Will it what's on the map? There's a, a question mark. mark. Oh, I thought this it's was the, I thought it's the, the Riddler. Riddler. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's whatever's up there. But oh, the God, question it, be a train. What uh, color uh, is uh, the light, Mr. GM? Uh, it's uh, pearly it's like, illumination and standard illumination. It doesn't look like uh, it doesn't look like daylight, right? Oh no, you, you're, you're so well you below tell. ground. Yeah, no, like magical okay. light. No, looks like a flickering light. Oh, Maybe wow. a cool. Well, the wisps. Um, well, um, so we have two hit points, two hit points, four hit points, and Willard. We have some amount of life. Um, Three, I think. What question to question mark or not to question mark? That's the question. I think well, we go. I want that was a religious shot. place where uh, where Ben is. I mean, perhaps we could find a cleric and get healed. Ooh, uh, you fog. know what? Ooh. I'm okay with that. Uh, as yeah, the light. Let's go. I go That's up. I don't want to come back. All right. Uh, so, light her up. There you go. Those are your choices. Bass says light, right? Yeah, Bass says light. Bass says light. You oh. choose it up. I would say I gotta say light, but oh, okay. So I don't know. Then we'll go. I, I, I just oh, want to get this. To, yeah, basically, right. Jory's like, I want to get this done and get the, the fuck lights. out of here. I guess I'll keep point because I've got a death wish to the point. He's here to see the fair. You're still. Light, right? I mean, you're still okay, right? I got four so, hit points, and I'm probably fumbling at the mouth. <laughs> right. Right. We we have two other potions. <laughs> hey. So hey, I will hey, drink I round one. <laughs> what does it smell like? Uh, strangely, it smells like urine, but it's dry. Oh. Uh, wait. What? It's dry like it's urine powder, or it's dry like it's a 
like a dry Chablis. Uh, it smells like somebody's been eating asparagus. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> oh, you know, at this point, uh, it being muck, and stuff, I'm good, that's a normal smell. I will drink it if it smells potable. Uh, it smells like that ooze booze. But is it really? Folsom and Willard, you can tell, uh, as Folsom has pointed out, this is non-union work. Uh, mm-hmm. This is shoddy craftsmanship, but the illumination... Is a rectangle, kind of like a door. door. Right. And there's a faint sound of running water on the other side. A look at ah. the floor reveals no moisture. Mm. Any any ferret tracks? No ferret. No tracks. ferret tracker. Nope. Is it because it's hard and it won't leave tracks? Is the door locked? Yes. Okay. Uh, the door is not locked, but the hinges are on your side. Ergo, it opens up. I, I'll use thaumaturgy to open it. What? Thaumaturgy? Oh, yeah. Oh, it yeah. Open or yeah close it does. Locked door. It does. Oh, okay. I, just before we go forward, I was thinking I was drinking the, the brown potion. Does that not smell like asparagus? Oh, would you like to smell? Would you like to drink the brown potion? That's what I was saying. I, I think I was mistaking your room description for the inside of that bottle. Oh, sorry. Uh, the uh, <laughs> no, that the uh, brown potion smells like cabbage. Oh, I, it's Bulgarian in nature. It's good because it builds the blood. I will drink this. Well, I mean, unless someone else wants this, I don't know if I'm gonna be help. I if I'm gonna be point. I feel like something might mm. be helpful. That's why I'm letting you drink instead of picking the pocket to take it and drink it myself. Twelve hit points as it was a potion of extra healing. Oh nice. well, great. I'm a <coughs> oh. So, uh, so now see. you have a bracelet, a map. And one potion left. <laughs> All right. So, uh, as you guzzle down the cabbage tasting, what potion, color is that other potion? Green. Give me that thing. Okay. Okay. Willard hands it to. Are him. you going to drink that before you thermaturgy the door open? No. Thermaturgy the door open and then swill the potion. The door opens up. Baz tips his head back, turns into gaseous form. Oh, wow. Jory, Willard, and Fluzzum, you notice as the door opens, there's a bowl on the other side of the door, and directly in front of you is a man attempting to urinate in said bowl. It appears as though you are in a lavatory of some kind, and you have just pulled the urinal back from this guy. Oh, no. <laughs> now the Not that anybody can see it. Wet. I'm going, to, I'm going to, I will apologize and tell him that it's just going to save you a lot more effort if you just piss where we came from, then you don't have to carry the bowl. He, he instead appears to be slightly inebriated, carries uh, said manhood over to the next location, uh, covering the floor in here in urine. It is all white, sewer. tiny tile mosaic. Yeah. This, this is a room of some kind. I pressed the digitator trail for us to not step into urine. Uh, meanwhile, you I'm are covered in this anything. green cloud hovering above you. Yeah. Uh, there are two men in here urinating. Uh, one, the inebriated drunk who doesn't seem to care. Uh, the other one who starts to hug the section as he is somewhat uh, closed off. Uh, there is a doorway directly to your right uh, where loud noises can be heard. I, uh, okay. Loud I, noises? Yeah, I, I say we head to the door. So. Hey, it's Have, so any far. Seen the Have any of you seen like a big rat or a ferret? Father uh, Father Gorshin is in the other room. Ah. It's a bar. It's some sort of a holy bar. A holy dive bar. Holy. A holy I dive bar. I've seen a giant rat run through here. Temple Rave. I, I will give you this yeah. rat. This very tasty thing. I have not I have not seen any rats. Uh, the guy finishes his business, does a double shake, and hikes up his britches uh, before walking past a section where he could wash his hands, but does not, and passes oh. through the door. Beyond, it seems as though it is a party-like atmosphere, uh, as Baz has pointed out, possibly a rave, although I doubt it. 
<laughs> uh, but you understand that Father Gorshin is on the other side of the door, apparently. Yeah, let's uh, find Father Gorshin. <laughs> I'm going to wash my hands. Boy. Yeah, that too. <laughs> uh, the shy guy uh, finishes up and waits impatiently to go ahead and wash his hands as well. One at a time, buddy. <laughs> uh, Baz, you just hover over. Uh, conveniently, you are a green fog, which matches the overall aroma of this chain. <laughs> nice. Uh, after you guys wash your hands, would you like to cross through to the door? Uh, sure. Oh, yes. Yes. You open the door, you follow out the guy who intentionally did not wash his hands, and you notice several crypts in this room. Uh, around this, around the exterior of the chamber. Inside the main uh, portion of this underground mausoleum uh, with nice arches are bales of hay. Uh, outside of the bales of hay are people uh, appearing to be betting on two crabs <laughs> fighting in the center of the yes. ring. You have bypassed the bouncer upstairs to get in free to the UCFC yes. of Cathaway. Well, you are amazed because each crab has a dagger strapped to its claw God, and is, they are fast. fighting to the death. As you enter... Can we see the ferret? Uh, the ferret is not there. Uh, a blue crab defeats a brown crab. Uh, Did I have my money on the brown crab? Money is exchanged, and the announcer, who is wearing priestly garbs, uh, announces, this is the final fight. Does anybody wish to jump in? Oh, God, I can't. Uh, not at two hit points. Or uh, not. Do any of you want to brave? The and they push this big fucking box out and you can hear something thumping around in it you're how guessing many, how three, many three and a half feet uh there's about 25 people here no i mean how many people carried that box out to put it down how heavy is three it? three men dragged it across the floor um i would uh, so do this but i can't with nine uh, or two hit points i mean I, father what's his name gorshin gorshin, gorshin. frank gorshin Frank Gorshin. Oh my. The Riddler. <laughs> nice. <laughs> will he heal? Will, will he hear? Will he? Will he heal us in advance if we want to take up the challenge? He is too busy. Oh. Then, then Are there I'm any other good. clerks in the room since this is a crypt? How long am I in Gaseous form for? Um, another yeah. another minute. Uh, um, no, there are no other clerks. I have no idea how lethal this this crab battle is. Yeah, I was about to say, unless we were fully healed. Is this a one-on-one, -on -one or is this supposed to be a party versus one? No, it's one-on-one, -on -one and you hear a booming voice. Uh -huh. I, I, you want to take it? I'll, I mean, if it's not derailing things, and I'll use this as an opportunity to ask if anyone's seen a ferret, a child's ferret. I have seen the ferret. You have? An individual walking down the stairs, an immense individual, bald head, <laughs> furry <laughs> appearance, bulging muscles. I saw a ferret. I just returned it to the Lady Strong, and oh, I have yeah, 20 gold you. pieces to bet on the winner. Everybody chants, Dwayne, 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 <laughs> Dwayne. <laughs> it's the uh, brick. <laughs> but Flotsam, Dwayne the Brick Johnson is a man of his word. And I'm he points so... out to you, partner, if you want to jump in there instead of me, you go right ahead. There's no way. I can't, I can't freaking. Why? Uh, why? Why? why is Flossum is yes. fully healed. <laughs> uh, you know, as I said, I'm fully healed. And as part of my backstory, I'm already wearing like an ODU or people pronounce ODU or whatever way, you know, the thing of different things. It's a family family thing. Whoever wants to like run the family business next has to beat one in single hand combat. So surely some giant crab thing will be similar to an ODU. So by golly, I am going to prove to my family I am worthy of succeeding and taking in Clunt and Sons gong farming and nice soil services 
Oh, Dwayne, Dwayne the Brick Johnson pats you on the back and wishes you the best. He looks you over, D12 against me. Does it give him the eyeball? Fine. You know what? I have a good feeling on you. I am putting 20 gold on this guy. I have a feeling. Boz reverts out of gaseous form and plops next to you guys. Ooh, uh, daddy, I'll take five on that. Father Gorshin says, place your bets. Young man, come on in. You're going to have to climb up and over the uh, hay bales, and you're facing off with a three-foot wooden box. Jory, I will give you this bracelet. Um, feel free to bet it, but... Uh, okay. I'm going to keep it, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to cash it in, and I'll divide the money amongst us. I've got five on you, big man. I've got five on you. All right, uh, let's do this. Do you want to get a drink in this establishment? Oh, yeah, if you're betting, it's like Vegas. They'll get you oh. a <laughs> Uh Flesum, you have no idea what's about to befall Finally. you. And yep. they, they ask you if you're ready. I ask, what are the, <coughs> uh, what are the terms and conditions here? What are the rules? What you kind of and you alone are allowed to handle this creature. If anybody else helps you, that's what's going to be a problem. All right. Uh, what am I allowed to bring in? Whatever you've got. Great. I have an idea. All right. <laughs> um, I am going to surreptitiously move a sack from my backpack uh, to like my waist. I'm going to tie it to my waist. So sort of easy. Sure. Uh, and I will also take a, a flask from my backpack and have it on my other side of my hip. So I'll have sack on one side of my hip, flask on the other. Let's do this. I'm smelling broiling here in a second. Uh, everybody gives you the thumbs up to make sure you're ready. Uh, two men lift the box lid. Anything and? coming out? <laughs> Nothing. What? They, they kind of peer over the side. Is it? Grab a, grab a stick. <laughs> poke it. A red and white spotted crab about three and a half feet long with big pincers. Each has a dagger on it. Comes charging <laughs> forward. Initiative, Flotsam. Worthy foe. A resounding five. 18. It closes quickly and ah, starts to slice and dice. Murder crab. <laughs> That's what uh, it is. 8 and 11 plus 5. So 16 is the best I can do. Uh, that the, Your best is very good. So it, 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 it's... It does four hit points of damage to you, but misses with its other claw. Uh, give me... You know what? Let me make an intimidation check. Yeah, you're fine with this thing. Uh, scary as shit, but uh, it's up to you. Your turn. All right. I want to cast Thaumaturgy and boom my voice three times as loud and yell, Get some, Fluzzy! My question is, uh, do you say this is more crap or crustacean? How many legs are on the ground? Is it a lot or is it like two? Uh, it's crustacean. Okay, so like shrimpy. Uh, yeah, six to eight, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Um, decapods. Yeah, they're decapods. So yeah, ten. probably, probably okay. four. So or one of my tech, on one of the things. Uh, I, I uh, I'm gonna say six. Fuck it. All right. So Snap I have judgment. Six. <laughs> uh, I'm going to uh, uh, wail on it with my uh, warhammer. Actually, I'm just gonna duel. I'm just gonna duel it at this point. I think. Sure. I'll save my. Other the crowd's one. going ape shit too. By the way. All right, uh, so that is a 17 and a 15. Both hit? Fantastic. Uh, so one is crushing, one is piercing, if it matters. Does it matter? Nope, doesn't matter. Uh, but I will total it, which is the lowest I've ever rolled so far, which sucks. Uh, so that is 11 points of damage altogether. Not good enough. Uh, in your ears as they ring, you can hear the booming voice of Boz 
you can also hear Dwayne the Brick Johnson cheer and yawn. You can do it, man. I've got faith in you. You also hear several people, including Father Frank, rooting for your opponent uh, as it waddles around. It's going to do two attacks. What do you got, Jory? All right. So here's here's what I want to do. The crowd is fully into this fight. Mm -hmm. I want to go. I'm going to notice the ones who are actually rooting against him. Uh, any look like they might be good targets for uh, uh, pocket no, picking? Nothing but gamblers here. Everybody's got money. Yeah, all right. So I'm going to pick one of them. I want to try to do sleight of hand. You go, go ahead, ahead and make your roll. So I... Ooh, uh, 18 and a 10, so 15. Does that get you? Flossum? Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought that was for... Sorry. No, I'm sorry. No, I thought that was for, for stealing things. What no, was that no. again? 15 and a natural 18 on the roll. Oh, yeah. Both, both are going to hit me. I'm soft and squishy. Uh, fortunately, only four hit points of damage as uh, only glancing blows. Jory, what'd you do? 21. Slide of hand. Uh, that's 12, so I did not get it. <laughs> you're the proud owner of seven gold pieces. Uh, Flazum, at the end of round two, you're up. All right, uh, so I'm going to stand my ground to these, uh, one of my partial actions before I use my full action to undo the string on my left hip, try my right hip, which is going to unload a sack of ball bearings, of 1,000 ball bearings yes. into the arena to hopefully it up while I wail on it with both my weapons. And uh, ha -ha, I've got a nat 20. I, I don't know if it's worth showing. Uh, I got a nat 20 on my, so that would be my... Work. That reaction clearly shows it was a nat 20. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, hey, I, I've been really... Uh, I, I like to hey, it, it's pride. Point. If you want to be pride, show it. Uh, so Every once in a while, I'll move my camera. And a 25. Uh, Let's hit. Remind me, you said roll... Damage, damage modifier on the nat 20. Okay. Uh, damage, set seven. One. Fuck it, duck. Uh, so that's 11. Which is what I was averaging previously, and my rapier does six, so that's seventeen points of damage in that one round. Uh, that that is not bad. It is injured. Uh, however, uh, some of the crowd cheers loud at your abilities. Some of uh, them groan loudly as well. I will do a dex check for your opponent uh, before it makes its attack in round three. Oh, yeah. That's a 15 plus. That's why I was like, how many legs? If it's two legs, it's not going to... Ball bearings are probably not going to... Yeah, it's uh, 15 plus three, so 18. Uh, it's going to slice and dice you. Oh, no. A 19 and another 10, so only one of them gets... 15 doesn't get you, right? No. Uh, yes, yeah, so I, at this point, I'll have the mince and or mince meat. One and a one. Too. Holy Damn shit. Much. I'm glad that uh that I am yes, I am next so round glad. I'll kill you. Two hit points. <laughs> Let's do this. Hey Frank. Uh, it's pretty hurt. Yes, ma'am. I'm picking another target. Sure. Because I'm an idiot. Oh, um, since I still have thaumaturgy up and it hasn't been a minute. Um, drink girl over here again, please. She'll come by. Okay, Flotsam, can you kill it? That was not so um, great. I'm going to, again, I'm going to, like, with one hand, just nick off the rope my other side of my hip, which is going to release a flask of oil. So on top of the ball bearings, it's going to be like that story that keeps popping up about the guy who paid uh, $600 in greasy pennies. I'm hopefully my <laughs> um, So I've got a 14 in that cocked. Uh, so sorry, I have a, so that's a 19 and a 13. And 19 and 14. Both hit? What? I might live. This is way better. A than AC 13. Oh, my God. I can't believe it did that. So that is 11 plus 6. Uh, Smash 17. it, Fluzzy. Smash it. 17. Boz, you want to tell them the good news? It's going to be toast. It had seven hit points left. You managed to crush through the outer crustacean shell. Crap battle! And you are, much to Father Frank Gorshin's dismay, you've cost the church a lot of money, but you are Ooh, victorious. Daddy, we picked a winner. What church is worshiping crab? I'm like, crab leg dinner for everybody. Hey, Wayne the Great Johnson. Frank. Hops, 
Hang on. Dwayne the Brick Johnson hops the hay bale and gives you a huge hug, causing you one hit point of damage from Crush. What do you got, Jory? I rolled a 15 on that sleight of hand from, like, what, round ago? That that one might get you punched. Yeah, that one might get me punched. Nope, 10. Yes. (laughs) Uh, But you only got three gold pieces uh, as you found one of the losers. Uh, Flutsome, you are now the proud owner of 25 gold pieces purse. Uh, Dwayne the Brick Johnson offers to buy you and your associates a crab dinner upstairs. This ends uh, the underground crab fighting contest as well as tonight's scenario. What you what's, got? No what's, what's the return on a five gold piece bet? Uh, two to one. It's paying off two to one. Right. They, like, they like the cut of his jib. I, I will split the winnings that I received with uh, with the party since we did not get to rescue the ferret. Oh, that's well, okay. well, it that's got nice. rescued. The, just yeah, the Brick Johnson. So we, we, didn't, it. we didn't rescue it, so like that was our cut. So that would have made us, if it was twenty split, I'll keep the extra five. If, but at least, well, I will. I will do the honorable thing, and I'll sell the bracelet and divide whatever that was worth. Thirty gold pieces for the bracelet. It was worth more than chasing that fucking ferret around. <laughs> uh, with well, one hit point left you're probably missing a tooth you got a black eye uh, but you have been victorious in the underground crab fighting ah. contest I'm going to keep some bit of its carapace just to show my dad that I can I can flush shit out of a sewer and uh, <laughs> someday we'll inherit the business wow uh, and with that we close Cloica and Cathaway uh, Ian what'd you think uh, I chasing a fair, I never thought would ultimately lead to a one on one crab battle and surviving. So, I am grateful for the opportunity to participate in said underground uh arena. So, uh, that is that was quite fantastic. Thank you for allowing me the, the pleasure of, of crab battling. It was either going to be you or Dwayne the Brick Johnson, and easy money had Dwayne the Brick Johnson beating the shit out of Spotty. That was the name of the crab that you beat. <laughs> uh, David, what'd you think? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Uh, again, Willard's uh, faults this evening. I mean, was just <laughs> he could not get a word in edgewise. So, but, at, at, hey, at least it worked you got to out. watch rap porn in your head. Yeah, that'll stick with me for a long time. <laughs> uh, Carol, I assume that your sleight of hand techniques are all going into your purse and not the party treasury. Yeah, the the two things I I picked. Yeah, the, 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 it was only ten gold, really, so it's not really you know, worth splitting. You you would have made half. So what'd you think? Uh, that was good. Uh, it was just weird. I think feel like it was a little. It was weird because it's like we started going this way and then detoured to something else completely. You know that was it was that, that was the option in two places. Honestly, I'm glad we found this this place and um, we weren't continuing to waste our time chasing that ferret. I'll show you guys. Came down. Yeah, I'll show you guys the map here in just a second. Uh, last but not least, uh, Rob, what'd you think? I had a blast. Several of them, actually. Yeah. yeah. Those potions <laughs> were big money, man. Nice. Yeah. Uh, folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc. Saturday uh, One Shot Edition. Thanks for joining <coughs> us. We hope you enjoyed yourself as much as uh, we did dicking around in the city of Cathaway, which is always a big pleasure. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about DD, join our Discord. If you want to buy crap, high quality crap, uh, check out our store. Don't forget, if you want custom dice, hit up at Pirate Dog Dice uh, for all your custom high rolling dice needs. And of course, if your game smells or you're covered in sewage, <laughs> uh, oddfishgames.com makes adventure sense. They also make the shine system. Oh. So if you want to write, pick it up. Uh, folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Week, we hope to see you oh, tomorrow <laughs> when uh, the Margu slash Tri Generational campaign continues. The Franks are in a medieval roadhouse tomorrow. Roadhouse. Sure, nothing's yeah. going to be bad there. Uh, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Week, have a great rest of the weekend, and we will see you later. Everybody, give them a kiss. Mwah. Love you all.